Hi everyone, it's Michelle and welcome back to my channel here. Well, yeah, my channel, The Book Hilted. So, I have to tell you guys, um, if you've watched any of my other videos, I do, I've done three unboxings for The Bookcase, which is a local like book box subscription with bookish goodies and things like that, that's based here in South Africa. And I got a Harry Potter one, which I absolutely loved. And I had two others. And like one, the first one I loved. The second one was was good, but I was kind of questioning, you know, I don't know. Sometimes sometimes you want a hard cover versus a soft cover. And it'd be nice to kind of have the choice. But hmm, I've got them on my Facebook. I've got them on my Instagram. And they came up with this concept for June that was a hugger. <laughs> which it actually just sounded so warm and comforting and like a nice warm like woolly blanket to wrap myself in which is totally our thing if you guys don't know like South Africa I mean all around the world we've got this massive obviously another outbreak India like it's it's insane South Africa we're in the highest lockdown that I think our economy can afford right now um I've actually just kind of closed my business for for, a, for about a week, ten days or so, just to kind of and have a have a break, kind of refresh myself and my staff, and just kind of hit the ground running again and go from there. But um, yeah, this was like just like a nice little fluffy, and it arrived perfectly. So I'm going to spend the next week lavishing and enjoying whatever is in this box. So let's go ahead and um, unpack it, and let's see what's in here. So first, I want to show you guys. <laughs> The little card at the top and this is if you guys can see that that is that is me on the couch with a blanket with my cat <laughs> with a cup of coffee and that and a book and it just this just completely like gelled with me today it, it, when i saw this and i just thought huh i have to be into this so i want to just show you guys i've opened it up it's got like a nice little bit there and this looks like such a warm and cozy box we have got some notebooks here. It looks like they actually buy the bookcase. Journaling notebooks. Let's stay cozy. Oh, these actually look so cute. Let's stay cozy. Warm up. And hugger time. And this is, yeah, there's no lines in it. And this is exactly, I love little notebooks like this. I should use them more. My diaries kind of died on me. I should totally transfer over to that. But, oh, and I've got another candle here. So it says Hugger. I keep thinking I'm saying that wrong. Hugger. Hugger. Hugs. It just feels like hugs when you read it. I don't know how it's supposed to be said. Does anybody know how it's supposed to be said? Um, Life moments brimming with happiness and comfort. Warm and woody coffee beans. It's a soy wax candle by Ella and Ash. Oh my gosh. Like that is just, that is heavenly. It literally smells like coffee. And it's got little coffee beans in it. If you guys can see at the top there. Oh, that just smells heavenly. I think that's going to be totally up my alley. There's something in a glass bottle here. I am totally intrigued. And it looks like we have a seed pencil. My children steal all my stationery. So anything fun kind of gets stolen. Oh my gosh. It shakes. I don't know if you guys, I feel like a kid. Plants, a seed pencil. I think it's it's a gift that keeps on giving. It's basil, how to plant your seed pencil. Get a tub with holes, put potting soil, insert the capsule end of the pencil. One to two centimeters into the soil at an angle. Water regularly to maintain moistness, but do not overwater. Direct sunlight is not recommended. The pencil can be left to biodegrade in the soil. But I want to use my pencil. That is so cool. That is actually such a cool concept. I really think that's awesome. So, I mean, by the time your pencil gets small enough that you don't really want to use it anymore, then and then it sits there and gets unused and gets tossed and whatever, this one you just plod. I think that is actually super cool. And there is a glass bottle in here. Oh. There are biscuits in here from the Baking Bunch. Butter biscuits. Oh, man. I'm totally having that with my coffee. And you know, the bottle actually comes well in handy. And I'm going to tell you why. And you're going to laugh at me. 
So my husband's grand lives with us and every year we've got fruit trees in our garden. We've got an apricot tree, we've got a plum tree. I just planted a fig tree two years ago or three years ago. My husband gave me a peach tree for my birthday. It's what I wanted, okay? And we make homemade jam and there is something just about our household. We all love jam, we love homemade jam. And a little while ago when his grandparents moved in with us, his grand and I make the, the jam together, I tossed like three bottles of her like jam bottle well three boxes of her jam bottles and then we made jam and we ended up with so much jam we ran out of bottles so every bottle that is like a jam size gets used i know that sounds insane this is a hagen and mug coffee so this is from hagen and mug i love hagen and mug their, their hot chocolate is really nice as well and i am such a soft person anybody who knows me is probably thinking oh my gosh Michelle sucks. That's like, <laughs> I swear this box was made for me. That's exactly why I saw it and I was like, hmm, this is for me. So these socks go, they're from Tapo. I love Tapo. Tapo, I normally get my, my diaries and, and um, weekly planners from, uh, from Tapo. It says, can I go home now? Actually, these are so nice and soft. I think I must get more socks from Tapo. These are gorgeous. These are really, really gorgeous. Okay, so I am at the bottom of the box and I've got a fun little envelope in over here and then I have the book box. So let's, let's dive in here. This is Gratitude Art, Color Me In. So one of the things I love doing is actually paying my numbers for adults. And this is, this is cute. I've actually got some, I've gone blank. Colored pens. When I remember, I'll pop it down below. Well, I'll probably end up opening the drawer looking what they are and then write it down below when I do the video. But this says, gratitude turns what we have into enough. That actually is really cute. And you color it in yourself. So that is, that is actually really sweet. So anyway, that is going to be nice and fun. And I've got like my dressing table kind of is this old wooden dressing table, as you can see from the furniture behind me and it's like got this glass so when I'm done I'll be able to pop it underneath and look at it every day and remind myself to be grateful although I have to be honest I'm grateful every every single day especially at the moment in the climate for uh, my family's health and my health oh my gosh what a gorgeous book I am shushed to silence so I'm going to read the back, but the thing that really caught me about this book as well is that I love historical fiction and this sounded like it was a yeah, historical fiction romance like mix and it just absolutely caught me. I had did not recognize it at all. I didn't know what book was being done, but how gorgeous is this color? Like I absolutely love, it makes me feel like Greek, you know, Greece is, always makes me think with the, the these kind of patterns, although with the... With the parrot, I doubt it's it's Greece. <laughs> but anyway, um, 1944, in the ruined wine cellar of a Tuscan villa, as the Allied troops advance, two strangers meet and share an extraordinary evening. Ulysses Temper is a young British soldier, and Evelyn Skinner is a sexagenarian art historian and a possible spy. She's come to Italy to salvage paintings from the wreckage and relieve memories of the time she encountered E.M. Foster and had her heart stolen by an Italian maid in a particular room with a view. Evelyn's talk of truth and beauty plants a seed in Ulysses's mind that will shape the trajectory of his life and those who love him for decades to come. Oh my gosh, that sounds so awesome! So, yeah, Italy. This actually makes sense. You know, I was thinking Greece, but this also makes sense with Italy. It makes me think of, like, pasta dishes. I wonder if they're going to talk about food in this thing. Kind of makes me think... I don't know. We're we're in winter right now, and pasta is totally a winter food for myself and our family. So that could be fun. This was such a gorgeous book box. I am like over the moon chuffed with this one. Anyway, guys, this was such a fun little video. I'm gonna go put on my socks and make my coffee, and uh, have my biscuits and read my book. Although I have another book I'm finishing first. Maybe I'll take on a second. Anyway, fun video. This was awesome. I'm super chuffed with this book. And, well, book box. Again, I swear I'm tongue tied or, or speaking funny or doing something very weird. Anyway, 
so good to see you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.